Hey guys, it is video number three. Number three of me in my cool dino pajamas. Um, again, if you haven't seen the previous two videos, I've just been really ill for a while. I have a lot of stuff coming up, both health stuff and um, vacation and stuff like that. So I recorded everything kind of on the same day because I was having a good health day and that made the most sense. Alright, this is video number three, which is going to be the unboxing and dying of all the Rainbow High Junior High dolls. Um, I'm really hype. Like, as of, like I said, as of recording this, I really don't know what colors I'm going to dye them. I do have some ideas. We're going to open them up, look over them, and I'm going to make the split decision right then, and I'm going to stick to it. Alright guys, let's, let's get to opening them. And so here we are, we have our favorite main six, and... I've already kind of ordered them in favorites or in terms of least favorite to most, so that's how I'm going to open them. I just want to say the thing about the junior high, they're really cute. They are. They could have been executed a little better. There were some flaws that I saw just in the overall design, which I'll mention here in a bit, but they are really cute. I feel like they're kind of slept on. People just. I don't know, the pictures don't really do them justice. They're very, very, I don't know, in person I think they're cuter because of their size. Um, it's a little closer to what we're familiar with. They do share clothes with the LOL OMGs really well. Um, I don't know, let's go ahead and get to opening them. I'm not gonna do too in-depth a review. I don't wanna bore you guys because these have been out forever now. Um, I'm sure most of you who were interested in buying them already have. But I will go over them just a little bit to tell you guys what I like, don't like really quick, and what colors we're going to dye them, and then we're going to go get on that. I find that the one thing that takes Skylar as my least favorite, and Ruby kind of has the same problem, is that the way their hairstyle is, it makes their eyes look really, really far apart, and just kind of too close to the side of their head. It's very strange because it just makes them look weird, kind of gremlin-y like see it's not even that bad in this video but like it is in the pictures i saw of them originally it was really really rough and it made it hard for me to kind of get interested scalar also i don't know what this orange tag in her hair is but it's kind of unnecessary um i know that it kind of mimics the orange tag on her shoes of her series one doll and again out of all of the like junior high dolls she has the most boring clothing her shoes are cute, the backpack's cute, but the clothing is just boring. It's not bad, it's just boring. All right, let's go ahead and open her up really quickly. So you can see her little gremlin face. Again, I don't understand the top knot and the orange tag, especially since the orange tag doesn't really do anything. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't actually help hold up her hair. It's just a decoration. I'm just not a big fan. Now, they don't have shiny faces like their uh, Series 1 counterparts. The sweater and the skirt, like I said, they're not bad. The skirt to him is really raw, but they're not, they're just not great. The shoes are super cute, and you can tell there's another orange tag there to just kind of bring in that orange tag from her other stuff. The backpack, her backpack is actually one of the cutest. And it's got a little blue tag on the side. But yeah, I, I like the shiny see-through backpack. I'm not going to lie. I like shiny things. Um, but overall, she has the same basic hair as her Series 1 counterpart, except for no part. So they're kind of limited on styles because their hair is thinner, um, which we've kind of gotten used to in a lot of the dolls that came out around that time. Not my favorite, but you know. All right, next up we have Ruby, and Ruby has the same issue that Skylar has in that her, I guess her hairstyle just really makes her eyes look super far apart. There's nothing in that big wide open space in between. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but like, I know it's supposed to make them look more childlike, having the bigger eyes kind of further apart or whatever, and I guess that works. Now, Ruby wins over Skylar simply because while I don't love Ruby stock either, it's really actually cute. It's just not my style, but like it is really cute. I don't like either of their hairstyles. I think that's a huge part of the problem. The hairstyle, like look at the art. The artwork, the hairstyle looks cute. It just doesn't translate over well to the doll. And right quick, hold on a second. Okay, I thought maybe that was the case with Skylar as well, but no, actually the artwork just 
isn't really that cute either. It's not bad, it just goes to show how wide their faces are. So yeah, I mean, Ruby's artwork is actually really cute. It just doesn't translate over to the doll. I did realize that once I cut my original doll's bangs, they were really cute. Now you guys know that I have always had an issue with dyeing Ruby. And I feel like this is probably going to be the same. They probably used the exact same hair that they used on the Series 1 Ruby, Cheer Ruby, etc. In terms of the fact that whatever, whatever is in this red hair does not dye very well. So <clears throat> I do think that like this is probably going to be just another nightmare. I'm just going to get that out there. I'm not looking forward to it. I don't think it's going to take color well. I think it's just going to be tiring. But let's go ahead and open her up right quick as well. Okay, so out of box, you can see a bit more of the kind of gremlin-looking face thing they have going on. This it's just really that their faces are very, very wide and their eyes are very big, which again is made to add that like childlike look to them. But considering this was junior high, so they were probably like 12 or 13, maybe 14 tops, because now they're in high school, which usually you're between like 14 and 16 for your like freshman and sophomore years. Um... So it's kind of very strange, I guess, that they look so childlike, but I will say that one of the things that gives me hope with Rainbow High is that because they've done the little sister body, perhaps they'll be like Monster High and Ever After High, and they'll do a big sister body too, because I would honestly love to see the teachers made into dolls. Not even gonna lie. But until then, I kind of enjoy these. Like, the smaller bodies are really cute, and the overalls, again, not my... Okay, the overalls are cute, the undershirt is cute, I don't love the two of them together, but the shoes of all the junior high girls are really adorable. The backpack is just kind of bland for me, it's not really my favorite, and I don't love the necklace, but otherwise Ruby is a step up, at least from where I feel like Skylar is. Next up we have Jade, and I know you guys are probably wondering why Jade isn't higher, because her makeup is actually super cute. Actually, it's better done than her Series 1 doll. And I know a lot of folks don't like the little tomboy band-aid. I like the band-aid. I like her hair. I think it's actually cuter than the other two. I think the band-aid kind of helps her not have that super spaced out face look that the other ones have. But the reason why she's lower on the pedestal or whatever is the outfit doesn't do it for me. First of all, like the artwork, she's so cute. So cute. Love the artwork. The doll isn't quite there for me. Um, because again, I don't like tomboy stuff, sporty outfits, whatever. Like that's it's just not really my bag. There's nothing wrong with it at all. And on some people it looks super cute, but I'm not one of those people, so it's just not my style and I don't love it. The little box for shorts showing under the pants, I remember when that was a trend, especially for girls doing it. Like I remember that. Um I can't say that I didn't do it at least a few times, but it probably didn't look cute on me. Her shoes are very similar to her cheer shoes and that they have the, the blue on them. And her backpack is also not my favorite. The snakeskin, I'm not big on animal print in any way, shape, or form. But let's open her up. Yeah, like the nose bandages, it's actually cute on Jade. Like, the little tomboy thing. I don't know, like, I mean, obviously it's a fashion thing. Because why else would she wear one? But it does go with the whole tomboy aesthetic, I guess. So, her hair's actually done kind of crooked as far as the little pieces sticking out in the front. But if you look, her little hair tie has little silver embroidery on it. That's supposed to look like, I guess, the little metal studs. So yeah, I mean, she's, she's cute. But again, not my favorite. So moving on. Alright, you guys, if you know me, then you know that Violet is my least favorite character in the show. But as far as this doll goes, okay, so I'm not big on the super young, like, middle school girl dressed up as the whole Britney Spears. Like, I don't know. Look, it's not really anybody's fault except for the creepy guys who sexualize schoolgirls. Let's go ahead and get that out there. But, like, it just seems like it's too mature for her i don't know i don't know maybe i'm just tripping but look how good her bangs are they're almost even it's not like perfect perfect but i'd say i've got like a pretty pretty good one um not easy i like her makeup i like that it's very subtle again they don't have the shiny faces of their s1 counterpart so apparently they went to middle school before highlighter became a huge trend um 
I really like her outfit and I'll actually probably keep this one to die just because I think that with the colors that I'm doing on one of the other dolls it would look really good on them so let's go ahead and unbox Violet okay so even if her character on the show is kind of awful Junior High Violet is by far just one of the cutest dolls look at these little puffy hair like thingies super cute the outfit is really cute I mean honestly I love the grown-up version of this shirt on Robin so of course I'm gonna love it here her satin backpack, which is all quilted, and then look at the strap. Like, such nice details, and then these little shoes are so freaking cute. So, yeah, I mean, even though Violet's not, a, like, my favorite character, I did have to move her up on the list of dolls that I really actually like in terms of favorites for junior high. Then, next up is going to be her adorable yellow counterpart, Sunny, who definitely deserves better friends. Alright, you guys, so Sunny's really cute in that... Her baby hairs are very nicely done. They're actually, like, attached to her hairline and not out floating like Phaedra's were. She's got cute little rainbow hair, like, clippies. Um, and I'll show you her coat more. Her coat's actually adorable, and then it has these little charms in it. She's got this happy little outfit, cute clear backpack. Even her little socks and shoes have designs on them. I mean, her artwork is actually... I don't want to say it's less cute than the doll, but I kind of feel like it is. Um, I don't even know if I showed you guys Violet's artwork. Hold on a second. Okay, guys. On Violet's artwork, her doll has much nicer curls in her pigtails than the actual doll. And much nicer bangs than the actual doll. But other than that, like, it's pretty cute. I mean, obviously, her shirt sleeves don't go down below her sweater sleeves. So there are some differences. And her hair ties aren't pom-poms, like, in the artwork. Okay, never mind. Basically, Violet's artwork is better than the doll. It is really quickly, I'm going to unbox Sunny, and then we'll take a better look at her details. Okay, you guys, so taking a look at Sunny, these little hair clips are so freaking cute. Like, honestly, I will say, all of the junior high girls have some pretty thin hair, but Sunny and Violet's, and even honestly, Jade's, like, it's not the worst, but it's not the greatest. Alright, so on Sunny's jacket, you see all these little cartoons, but sorry, it's very crinkly. She also has these little charms, and yeah, they're all upside down. I don't, I don't fully understand what that's about, and some of them are just empty, which is even weirder, I guess. Oops, sorry. Alright, and here's on this side. But yeah, I don't know why every single one of them is upside down. Sorry guys, I cannot hold her <laughs> and use my phone with the other hand. It's crazy. But yeah, there's her shirt and her little skirt. The skirt seems like it would probably die well. Um, so, I don't know. I've thought about dyeing it. It depends on what color I dye these girls as to whether or not it would even be worthwhile. And then there are her shoes. And her socks have the same little happy faces on them that you see on her jacket. I will say, the junior high girls do have their nails painted. Um, violets are really pale, almost white. And then everybody else has, like, their usual signature color. Alright, you guys, so on scales of least to most favorite, I guess you guys already realized that that means my most favorite is, of course, Poppy, who is my favorite series one girl, um... You know, it's not even really just because I love monarch butterflies, but I do, mind you, because we always see them pass through Texas as they're migrating. It's just, and orange is not my favorite color. Um, maybe it's because she has pink in her hair, and pink is one of my favorite colors, and there was no pink girl for series one. I don't really know what it is, but Poppy has just always been my favorite. I'm really sad that on the show we don't see more about her. We really don't ever get the sense that we know her up until they have the winter break episode where she just always wanted to see snow and it meant so much to her and the first thing we learn is that her friends were basically like all right stay out here on your own we're leaving bye so i think if anything you learn that she needs new friends um so i had tried to dye a version of her before because i really wanted to get that blue butterfly look but the only way once you've canceled out the orange it just ends up too dark um, and it really wasn't what I wanted. I wanted something more along Skylar's color, and I didn't get it. So I decided that I was going to reroute that poppy 
and potentially try to dye her again, and then dye this one completely differently, dye it with the other five, just so I could dye all six junior high for you guys at one time. So, real quick, let me open her up, and we'll finish this up. Okay, really quickly, you guys, I completely didn't even notice I dropped Sunny's backpack and not told you guys about it. It's got some cute little cartoon characters on the top, and then it's got that same little rainbow on the bottom. It's perfectly clear, much like her jacket. Alright, so on to Poppy. Poppy's bell sleeve shirt with the monarch wings. Like, I would wear this shirt myself, I'm not gonna lie. Um, then it comes with the little undershirt thing to keep it from being all the way see-through. She's got some plain little white shorts and then white socks and the cutest boots in the entire universe. Um, she's got these little monarch wing um, hair bows at the ends of her braids. Her backpack is not one of my favorites. It's kind of plain, but it does have a little embroidered butterfly on it. Honestly, I have no use for the backpacks, and most of these clothes, because these are my secondary versions of these dolls, will probably end up going for sale because I don't really have a lot of use for it. So I'm going to strip them down right quick, and then we will head into the kitchen where we are going to dye them. We'll talk about what colors we're going to dye them. Some of them will be getting multiple colors, some of them just a single color, but yeah, I don't, we'll, we'll see when we get there. Here's what we're going to be doing. For Poppy, I really want to take one half chocolate brown and one half I want to neutralize into blonde. But as you guys know, it's not always that simple because a lot of times what neutralizes the orange does the pink the wrong color. So we're going to see how that works out and what adjustments we'll need to make. All right, for Ruby, do you guys... If you've watched my videos at all, you know that I always struggle with Ruby. I really want to do one half wine, one half pearl gray, but because her hair doesn't always take dye very well, I can't even guarantee that that's what colors it's going to come out. For violet, I just want to do a violet violet. I've done a violet violet before on um, my series one violet. I recently sold her, but I kind of miss her. Same with Skylar. I've done a dark bluish black Skylar before, but I decided I want to go indigo. I want to just go really, really dark blue with her. I know it's only a single color, so it's a little boring, but I think it's going to look really great with her eyes. And with Jade, again, just a single color. I really want to see if I can take her almost a neon yellow. I'm not really sure if we'll get there with this particular yellow, but I'm going to give it a shot. And then, of course, with Sunny, she's getting a whole rainbow and since her hair is already yellow that's why you're missing the yellow dye all right you guys let's get to dyeing these okay you guys so i decided to do these two first because they are just single colors both of them have been boiled again violet has writ all-purpose violet and skylar has writ all-purpose indigo i'm just going to dip them in the hot pot right quick right here over the sink and then rinse them and make sure i have the color that i want Okay, so I'm starting with Violet, and I really want to be careful with her bangs because I don't want to do too much of them backwards and end up having them wash out of her second row hairstyle and get messed up. But as you can tell, she's going Violet. So I'm going to sit down, and then when I do, I'm going to stand her up and kind of pour the dye over her bangs. So I'll have to rinse her quickly just to keep it off her eyes and off her face. But I don't know, I might be able to do it like this. You just always have to be super careful of how you hold the pot and make sure that it covers all of the hair while not washing the bangs backwards. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, you guys, sorry. It's really bright. Hold on. There we go. As you can see, I did the violet. I actually stood her up like this and then held the pan and dumped some of the purple over her face and then quickly put her under the cold water just to make sure that it doesn't get in the whites of her eyes because it can stain that if left on a really long time from what I've heard from other folks. Um, plus I wanted to make sure that when I ran the hot water and the cold water over her hair that her bangs were in the proper position. So now we're going to go lay her down to dry and go ahead and get started on Skylar. In the very similar manner to what we just did Violet, we don't have to worry about any bangs or fringe as they call it in other countries, so that's a big thing. And we're just going to keep going until it gets as dark as we want it, which I really want to get it all the same color, um, which I know might be hard just because her hair has multiple colors of blue in it. Alright, we're getting there. 
I usually like to do a couple of swishes and then do a cold rinse in between, but it can be kind of hard for you guys to hear me over the running water. But if I set everything down, then it makes it hard for me to like, view, like videotape it. So it's awkward, but I'm gonna rinse her really quickly. Okay, so her hair wasn't really getting as dark as I wanted. We still got that light blue streak right there. So I actually mixed in a bunch more and did it into the hot water pot as well as a little bit of black. Just because I want her hair super, super dark. Like the darkest blue black, but without actually being black. You know what I mean? So we mixed in some more dye. We're going to see how this takes. I have the yellow heating up for Jade in the meantime. I think we're finally getting somewhere. Like we're finally getting that light streak gone. Here we go. So yeah, like I said, I really wanted her hair like just a dark, inky, like blue black, like not even indigo in the same way that Crystal's was with the heavy purple tint. Like I wanted it super dark and that's exactly what we got. So we're gonna go lay her over to dry and get started on Jade. Okay, so now this pot is the golden yellow for Jade. I did end up mixing a tiny, tiny bit of the neon green just because I really wanted to see where it could take Jade. So with Jade, again, like this is almost all golden yellow with a little tiny bit of neon green just to give it, like I wanted that yellowy green color. And the reason why I chose this color, this was not what I originally wanted to do for her. Um, after I kind of inspected her in person, I looked at her eyeshadow and her eyeshadow is a yellow color. Like on mine, it's like a very yellowy green. And so that's what gave me the idea. Originally, her hair was going to be something completely different and more complicated but i felt like that wouldn't have gone as well with her makeup and you know so that is something to consider when you're dying them. so far is a pretty dark yellow i'm probably going to have to paint her scalp yellow because right now the green paint from her scalp shows through and it's very hard to tell if i've gotten the edges of her hair golden enough so i'm gonna let them sit just a little bit longer just to get around the edges of her face and make sure that everything is equally colored really have very good hair part so I don't really know what I'm going to do with her hair obviously I'm going to like paint it and then thatch it really well because her hair is just a little on the thin side for it to cover the scalp well enough but we got a lovely golden color on it so we're going to go set her aside to dry and we'll start on Poppy all right you guys so i always want to say this and i feel like i forget a lot of times but when you're doing neutralization you want like way more water with just a couple of drops of dye we don't want to actually turn her hair blue we want to just do light enough to neutralize out the orange so on this poppy there's a good chance that these pink strands are going to turn lavender and that these orange strands should neutralize into a blonde color so we're going to do that right quick on one half of her head she does have a part but only at the top of her head at the bottom it's just you know the junior highs did not come with a lot of hair so i'm going to make sure everything's straightened out even and then swish her just a little bit in this very like you want the water to be see-through still when you put the dye in that's how little you want for neutralization now normally you'd want to tie up the side of the hair that is not getting dyed but I didn't really bother with that. I'm just gonna hold it out of the way and lightly switch this part and then be ready to cold rinse it pretty quickly in. Like I don't wanna leave it in the blue so long that it has a chance to turn blue. And there's a chance that I'll still need to add other colors to this, it won't be enough. All right, here we go. So you can see it's turning yellow. The pink is in fact turning lavender. We're gonna switch one more time and then we're gonna put the yellow side in some yellow dye, similar to what we're doing with the blue. Okay, so now that we've gotten that done, and again, don't worry if you do get it on the orange side, um, because it's going to be a darker color, it's not really gonna show. But now that we've done this and it is yellow and purple instead of orange and pink, we're going to put it in this yellow, which should help neutralize the lavender and just turn the yellow more yellow, with any luck. <laughs> And again, you don't want to leave it in a super long time. You don't need to leave it in a super long time, I guess is the issue. All right, so I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see the lavender is getting more ashy. It's kind of toning the purple out. The yellow is still staying yellow, so we're going to keep going. Okay, guys, so now you can see the purple is like a very ash blonde. 
it's no longer purple and the yellow is still yellow all right so now time to do poppy's other side of her head and you should have like a dark it looks like a dark blonde sorry i know this isn't the best light but um so when it dries of course it'll be lighter than what it looks there but now we're going to do this side like a rich rich chocolate brown now for the other side it didn't matter if you kind of got this uh that dye on this side but for this side we really don't want to get dye on the other side so we're going to be very careful at angling our pot around so that we get her whole head or well not her whole head but her whole side Okay, so of course with Rit Brown, it does have a green tint to it. So after I did a Rit Brown dip, I actually just dipped her in some hot wine as well to just kind of get the green tone out. And then of course, here's the blonde side. Both sides will dry slightly lighter than they look now. Here's how everybody else is currently going. And I usually do still brush their hair while it's wet and kind of set it. So I'm going to go ahead and wet Ruby's hair. I've got the um, the wine already heated up because I used it on Poppy. Um, and so we're going to kind of divide her hair in half through the middle as well. So let's see if we can do this. So I always just keep like a toothpick or if you have a comb you can keep it on hand. Whatever. And I just used it to divide her hair in half. So now I'm going to get the hot pot of the um, wine color out and start dipping her half her hair in it. So I've got the wine good and really, really, really hot. I have her hair separated in as much of half as one can have done with this. So we're just going to go ahead and take this half and dip it. We want it to get really dark wine. Ruby's hair is notoriously hard to dye. I have no reason to assume that they've used any other type of you know, hair fiber than they've used on the Series 1 and Winter Break rubies that also wouldn't take dye for hardly anything. Wine, brown, and black are about the only colors that Ruby ever really takes. I did manage to get one ruby turned pink using a dye method that I do not recommend to anyone because it's highly likely to stain. And while I managed with a lot of experience to not get it to stain, it's still not something I like to prefer to other people. So we're going to go ahead and get around the edges of her head with this all-purpose wine. And of course, I use dye pots, but don't, don't ever reuse them for food, okay? I just want to get that out there. I also use, like, super old towels with, like, holes in them that are beat up, that, you know, that we don't really use for our bodies or whatever to use for them to like dry on and I'm not sure if that matters but it's just I don't know for safety's sake don't reuse stuff like that so far the ends of her hair are taking the wine but we've still got some work to do around the edges so I'm gonna do that really quickly all right guys so we've got one side of the hair burgundy and you can tell it's only like slightly darker than her regular red but it is darker and that's what we need as far as will this side turn gray no, I, I don't I don't know what to expect because with Ruby's hair, it never really takes color the way you think it will. It doesn't take color the way the other dolls do. Um, I don't know, but maybe it'll just be a pale black or maybe it'll be a very dark charcoal gray. But I guess we're we're about to see. So I've got it really, really hot, like I mean, it's pretty much boiling. And we're just going to dip all the way around to the edges. It is dark. I don't know that it's going to be like gray, black, or what to expect, but it is dark. I'll give it that. So that's a start. I don't really know. It's like a dark burgundy-ish. I'm not sure yet. I mean, we'll see really more when it, when it dries, but I'm going to keep going over it a little while longer. Probably do like two or three more dips and just get it as dark as I possibly can. Yeah, so we're going to start on Sunny, and this is where it gets kind of complicated. Because I'm doing Sunny's rainbow in stripes going around her head, I separated the front section that's going to be yellow, and I'm holding it away from everything else. It's braided, separated, whatever. The next section is going to be orange. So I've got it separated down, sorry, see if I can do it, down this rooting line. We're going to dip this. Now, 
I wouldn't get too stressed if like the colors kind of blended the roots because honestly most often once you rinse them they just kind of melt out and like blend together so it's not very harsh and we're going to be doing orange red pink purple blue and green yeah <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get orange done right quick So orange is done. We did get a little of the section that's going to be red, but it's not going to matter because the red's going to cover it up. So I'm going to go ahead and separate that section and start the red dye. So as you can see, oops, there we go. We've got our yellow, orange, and red. Now we're going to do the pink, which will be on this back section. And we'll rinse this, and then we'll start working on the purple, blue, and green side. Okay, you guys, so here's how everybody's starting to shape up while they're drying. We've got the blonde and brown poppy, the bright yellow jade, who definitely needs her scalp painted. We've got violet violet, and we've got like this really dark black blue on Skylar. And then we've got the half red, and I mean, it's supposed to be gray, but it's kind of hard to tell what it's looking like right now. Maybe brownish gray? Well, we have something going on with Ruby. And then here is finished Sunny. You guys saw me do her dip. I've got her hair braided so that it keeps her crimps in it as it dries. But I ended up adding like a light green, dark green, light blue, dark blue, and purple on this side. And after I finish the yellow, orange, red, and pink on that side. And there's like a little smudge right there. But by the time I take her hair down, everything gets blended in. And here is the finished product with all six of the junior high girls. Honestly, like, I'm really happy with how they came out. Were there things I would change if I could? Definitely. The first one being that I wish they were all like slightly more thickly rooted. Their hair is really thin, which makes it really hard to do different colors on them without having to worry about the original scalp color showing through. This was only really a problem with Jade. Sorry, I had to move a doll that's on the top shelf that's getting their hair done. Um, we'll start with Sunny. And so with Sunny, I mean, you can see her scalp still kind of in between all the hair. But you can see all the colors. She's got, you know, red and there's like a... This is actually just do red and pink, but honestly, they don't really look that different. You can kind of see the pink through in the middle there. And then there's dark orange and then there's kind of a peachy light orange and then her original yellow and then we have back here there's purple a dark blue an aqua blue a dark green and then a light green towards the front you can kind of see them better I guess from this way I didn't think about that with poppy I mean, mostly because of her hairstyle, you can't really see. Well, you can if I do this. Yeah. Oh, and apparently, like, I missed, like, a whole strand of hair. But it did come out, like, a really nice half blonde, half chocolate brown. I kind of wish the brown were darker, but you could tell, like, where it was the pink streaks. It was starting to get too dark. So while the orange was turning brown, the pink streaks were kind of turning black. And I really didn't want to have, like, a super... Like, I didn't want it that dark, so I decided I should probably just let it be what it is. On Ruby, I actually had the opposite problem. Okay, so I knew that the gray probably wasn't going to take over her red hair as much of anything. It actually came out black, though, which is kind of cray, but it's all right. And then the other side did come out that dark wine color. But, yeah, I mean, even there, like, you can see her scalp color a little bit. It's not really that huge of a deal. On Violet, I think the strangest thing was that her bangs really didn't dye quite the same color as the rest of her hair. Even though they were in the dye for the same amount of time, they've got some of that same like metallic look to them. 
but it's not as much as the back of her hair. So that was pretty nice, having a violet violet again. But you know, I don't remember that being a problem on my first one. My like series, oops, my series one violet violet. But I will say with the series one violet violet that I did, I think I actually pulled her bangs. So maybe that's why I didn't remember them being a separate color. Sorry, trying to get all these girls to stand up. Next up is Skylar. Skylar actually took the indigo really well. Um, in fact, to get it a little darker, I mixed the tiniest bit of black in with it. And then her clothes are violets, or junior high clothes dyed with that same indigo dye. And last but not least is Jade, who I have started painting her scalp, but I haven't finished yet. I'm so sorry, you guys. You can probably hear my dog snoring in the background. But it's been a long day and she's ready for bed, so. Anyway, um, so originally Jade's eyeshadow looks really yellow to me, which is what made me pick this color. But she's rooted so thinly and her scalp is so incredibly obvious through it. Um, it was easier just to repaint it. So I've started, I haven't finished, you can still see some green through, but otherwise she's looking pretty cute. So, goodness, I accidentally hid Skylar back there. So there is everybody all painted and done up. Like I said, they're not quite finished. Definitely will probably find better outfits for them. Um, Skylar's is the only one where I knew what I wanted to do going in. And Sunny's is pretty cute, but everybody else's is probably going to get changed up. I just wanted to dress them really quick for this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me dye the junior high kids finally. Next up will be Shadow High. So hopefully you guys look forward to that. And I will see you guys next time.